be to page 881. Now, I'm betting that we're not all United Methodists as we gather together here today. And I'm betting that there's some in the room that might not understand a term that we're going to use, Holy Catholic Church. It's a little C. That word means universal church. That, that word means the body of Jesus Christ. That, that word is talking about the fellowship of the believers. It's talking about everyone who's made a profession in the name of Jesus Christ. In other words, Holy Catholic Church drops all the denominations. And we become many members of one body. And I would hope, I would hope that we could all read this historic creed together because I do believe, my friends, that these words have the ability when they're practiced, as we sang a little while ago, with self-control, with self-control. You see, we are a nation not just of law, but also built on self-control. Listen to these words as we read together, respond together, page 881. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And you may be seated, church. Would you bow with me, please? Father, we all desire to know the distinction between right and wrong. I don't know why the parents in this room have so supported their, their sons to be in scouting. But I would dare say that somewhere in the mix of things, that there's a universal need of every parent to want their child to be good. I give you thanks, Father, that when we, that when we're children, that we're taught to be obedient as a child. Father, I don't know if I understand this rightly, but I get this idea that a lot of a parent's job, a lot of our jobs together as a community, is to teach the difference between right and wrong and good and bad and good and evil so that we might learn how to survive in a very hostile world. But in the singing of the song a little while ago, I was reminded, O oh God, that the framers of this nation understood 
that there are virtues that are higher than good and bad and right and wrong and good and evil. So I give you thanks for not only the laws of this land, but the laws that you have given to us and the ordinances and the commandments throughout, well, throughout the Old Testament. But I give you equal thanks because you also call us to self-control. It seem, O oh God, that somewhere you had someone like the Apostle Paul to pen such words. The fruit of the Spirit is self-control. And so if it would be your will on this day as we come together to celebrate Scout Sunday, that we might be mindful that oftentimes we get caught up in a world that is either or, right and wrong. But may there always be those who have the wisdom to be leaders of both and. For where would our nation be, O oh God, without self-control? How can a nation stand without civility? And how can your kingdom come from heaven to earth without at least a few of us being audacious enough to walk in the Spirit as Christ walked? Father, whether we are the keepers of the law, or those who attempt to walk in the spirit of self-control, may we all know and celebrate that you are our Lord and that you are God's in all, God in all things. And so may we all lift our voices together. May we pray as one body, something like a universal body, as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever. Amen. And if may I say there's nothing more beautiful in a in a sanctuary than the voice of a child reciting the Lord's Prayer.